is a quick demo showing how to link CATIA with ANSYS Workbench. So we have a fairly simple model on the screen here. So we're just going to set up a couple of things. We're going to create some name selections. So these are publications in CATIA. So pick on the outside surface and go to publications. I'm just going to name this one face, which is fine. And we're also going to create a parameter. So under tools and uh, formulas, we can search for a dimension. So we have the one controlling the thickness of this cylinder, the wall thickness. Uh, which is this guy here with 30, and we're just going to give that a more meaningful name. So we're going to use a filter function in Workbench, which is ds uh, as default, so ds underscore thickness as our value. So just apply, and then OK. That. So we've set up a, a publication and also a parameter. So just save this model to the uh, to the desktop. So I'm just going to give it a name here, Katia underscore cylinder, and we're in Katia R52013, so I'm just going to save it as that, so I know which version it's in. So in Workbench, just going to drag a static structural to an empty project. On the geometry, uh, I need to browse the file, um, so on the desktop, it's that part there. Uh, and on the options, on the properties here, I'm going to make sure that the parameters are ticked and the DS filter's there, and also the name selection. Um, we'll call it face, so we'll, we'll put the filter in as face there. So just launching Mechanical now, um, this will fire up, uh, the, obviously, the answer's Mechanical interface, and it'll also bring across the Katia part. So there we are, we have our part, and we'll see we've got name selections in the tree, and if we pick, we can see that the face is visible there. So I'm just going to put a pressure on the outside surface. Um, I can pick with geometry or I can switch to name selection, so I created that one called face, so I'll use that. Uh, and I'll give it a magnitude of uh, 1000. I'm also going to put a fixed support in the model on the inside surfaces. So just put those in there and ask for a deformation. And solve the model. I'll just take a second to generate the mesh and run the calculation. Not a big complicated model and a deformation looks sensible. On the geometry item here we can see that our CAD parameter has been exposed, so our thickness of 30 um, is available and we can also look at a result item so we'll just pick maximum deformation and on the project page we can see our parameters set. If we go and change the value here from 30 to let's say 5, go back to the project page and refresh the model, that will, um, Katia will update the geometry, the geometry will be re-imported into mechanical and if we were doing a design study it would run through each of the designs in turn and give us a, a corresponding set of results that we could use. We're doing this interactive with us, so we see the updated geometry, and all we need to do here, as you can see the name selection there, to resolve the calculation to check everything still is valid. It was completed, and our deformation is okay.